This is Harry from Picas for the GMBT, informing you about the study we performed about clinical musculoskeletal test related with the oxygen main nerve in side dominant headache and neck pain. Uh, the goal of the study was to increase mechanical sensitivity of the crater oxygen nerve in subjects with side dominant headache and neck pain, a diagnosed case control study. Volunteers are recruited in Hamburg and environment and in the rest of North Germany. Uh, the study is accepted by the Ethics Committee of the University of Applied Science in Osnabrück and Pius Weiss, funded by the Imta Jeff Maitre Research Grant Foundation in Switzerland. Uh, we have made first a simple size, and the simple size you can read in the article was based on data from a previous study where the PPT, the pain pressure threshold measurement, was used. In this flowchart you see now, we classify the group in two groups. First, subjects without head and neck pain and subjects with unilateral head and neck pain. We excluded 29 people and we had two blind accessors who were UMT manual therapists with more than five year experience and they gave them five hours of training, examination technique and calibration. So they examined, blinded the healthy controls and the participants with side dominant headache and neck pain. Totally 76. Afterward, we classified them in the cytogenic headache group, the episodic migraine group, and the chronic migraine group. The first measure we did was the pain pressure threshold. We did this with a Wagner instrument, mechanical pressure algometer, yeah, uh, from uh, Greenwich UK, and we did it on two points. Firstly, we did two and a half centimeters to medial from the ear and on the ligament nuge. We palpated the oxygen mayor and we did the measurement and we looked to the pain threshold. The same we did on the ligament nuge three times and we looked to the pain threshold. And afterwards the patient gets 30 seconds rest and we did it also on the other side. So also the extra mayor on the left side and also the ligament niche on the left side. Second measurement was the occipitalis long sitting slide. Starting the position by Lara is in extension of the leg, dorsal flexion of the feet against the wall. We fixate her upper legs with a, a belt and she gets a colored analytical scale to judge the pain later on. I asked Lara now to bring the hands behind the bed. My hand comes on the sacrum and I asked to slump in on Lara. Then I put the sacrum perpendicular in a small flexion grade for minus, lateral flexion and rotation to the left. I grasp with my left hand into the hairs of the patient or the volunteer and give him a small gentle grade for minus and pull in the direction of crane. Hold also the reflection of the, of the trunk. Ask her to judge it, but firstly I relax her so that she can relax her legs and then she has to judge the pain on the colored analytical scale. And I can also look on the numeric scale how, many, how intense the pain is. These were the physical outcomes. There is subjective outcomes where the migraine disability assessment, the MIDAS, or having related impairments, neck disability index, patient health questions, PR2-9, and assessment for the depression were evaluated. And also pain localization was drawn into a body chart you can read in the article. The results we saw. Uh, we see here a different distinguish between the pain pressure threshold in the dominant, not dominant side and the control group. Control group. There's a clear significant difference between the dominant side and the control group in pain sensitivity. There's a clear difference between the not dominant side and the control group, but there's not a, di a difference between the dominant side and the non-dominant side. In the Oxford long sitting slump, we see in all the groups the significant difference in the sensitivity in relation with pain. The pain sensitivity between the 
dominant and not dominant code is significant, but also between the dominant and the control group. Conclusion of the study is that one, the pressure mechanical sensitivity is a significant difference between the headache groups and the control. There was no difference between the dominant and the non-dominant side of the headache. There was a difference in the pain pressure sensitivity of the oxbow nerve and the initial line, but it could only be shown in both groups, only between the dominant side of the headache and the control group. Number two, the oxbow long sitting snub. There was a significant higher pain intensity in the side dominant headache and neck pain group com compared with the control. This may be a sensitive test during assessment of neuromusculoskeletal headaches, which may also be used for a basic treatment in the future. Together with other survival impairment tests like the passive exercise movements, flexion rotation test, together with the oxygen long sitting slum test, may be a relevant tool for assessment and treatment in neuromusculoskeletal headaches. The conclusions of all these studies in relation with statistics, limitation of the study, and the discussion you find in the article published in the GMNT. At the end of this video, we want to give you some uh, tips for how you can do, how you can perform the test in uh, clinical practice. First of all, you have not to fix the dose flexion of the feet. And also not fix with a belt, because then the patient can also adapt this flexion or plantar flexion. Also, you have not to do it with a pain pressure measurement. You can calibrate your finger with a mechanical pain pressure measurement and you use about 1.53 kilograms. So I can do this by uh, Lara. I palpate and ask Lara when I'm on the oxygen may nerve, does it painful? Is it your pain? Yes. Yes, it's sensitive, she said. And then I can also go to the ligament buchet from up to mastermind 3 4 cm to the medial and can palpate if this is sensitive. So, one to about two kilo, when there's unilateral difference, then we can say, okay, there's a unilateral difference. Then we can do it with the test. So, I ask her to do the hands behind the back. Relax your legs, slow in, go to perpendicular from the sacrum, doing a small grade 4 inflection, left inflection rotation to the other side, and perhaps slowly in her hair. Her hair. And is it sensitive for you? Do, do you feel it? Yes. All right. And then I can go up, do a sensitive movement with the trunk, and look if the pain is different. Or I can ask, can you flex your legs? How is the pain? Is the pain more or less or the same? Yes. All right. Thank you very much. So this is a um, proposal how you can do this in the clinic.